When a hurricane is headed to Clearwater Beach during your vacation, what do you do? Do you cancel your trip altogether? But what if you're already here? Should you evacuate? What if you stay and your hotel loses power? What if you can't get out? Well, it may seem overwhelming at first. There are plenty of ways to plan for Mother Nature while still having an amazing time. Hey everyone, my name is Mandy and today we're sharing what you can do to prepare to enjoy a Clearwater Beach vacation during hurricane season. From understanding evacuation protocols to choosing a hotel that's prepared, we're covering it all now. Hurricane season starts at the beginning of June and lasts until the end of November and can be a great time to travel here. As with most coastal destinations during hurricane season, you'll likely be able to score some great deals on flights and accommodations as well as less busy beaches. More times than not, your vacation will go off without a hitch and you'll return home with lots of great memories to share. But traveling during hurricane season does come with its risks and while we average 361 days of sunshine a year, the weather can get Get pretty sketchy at times. So what can you do to make the best of this uncontrollable situation? Plan, plan, and plan some more. If you're watching this video, congratulations, you're already ahead of the game. That means you're a planner like us. So what's the first thing we recommend to do? Find out how your hotel handles weather emergencies. We called around and we found that policies and procedures are all over the place when it comes to how accommodating they're gonna be during a storm. Before you book, ask questions questions like whether or not your hotel has a generator. What about an emergency food supply? Will they extend your stay if there's major damage and you're unable to get off the island? If so, what will it cost? What happens if evacuation orders are given? Do they have a sister property inland reserved for their guests? Practically all hotels on the beach are prepared to some degree, but it's important to ask these questions now. You don't want to find out when it's too late. How will you know when it's a false alarm or things are getting real? Listen to Dennis Phillips. Dennis has been accurately reporting on hurricanes here in Tampa Bay for decades. He is the OG, the Michael Jordan of weathermen and the only one that we watch. He doesn't do what a lot of the other newscasters do, or as he calls it, fear casting. He's a straight shooter and will tell you when to relax and when it's time to worry. We found the best way to get the most information is to follow him on his Facebook page where he does live broadcasts, sometimes from his living room in the middle of the night. Seriously, when does this guy sleep? Watching a hurricane approach and trying to decide what to do can be stressful and scary, especially when you're not used to them and you just don't know what to expect. Your hotel staff, along with the locals, have likely been through these types of storms many times and can be a great source of information to help you decide what's best for your family. If we're not under mandatory evacuation orders and you decide to stay, rest assured there will be things to do. Hurricane parties are not a myth and we take them very seriously around here. Bars create specialty hurricane themed cocktails and the grocery stores even make cakes. Hurricane parties are actually pretty fun. There's a special kind of bond that forms when everybody's in the same boat, whether they wanna be or not. Just keep in mind that we could lose power and credit card machines will be down, so you'll need to pull out some cash for all the festivities. So what exactly happens if Clearwater Beach goes under a mandatory evacuation? Clearwater Beach is Zone A, which means we're the first ones to be evacuated should the order be given. In the six years we've lived here, we've been under a mandatory evacuation order twice, once with Irma and once with Ian. You can stay on top of all things evacuation related by downloading the Ready Pinellas app. We'll link it below. If you'll be evacuating by car, we suggest also downloading the Florida 511 mobile app. It's a free app offered by the Florida Department of Transportation that provides real-time traffic updates and will send travel alerts related to the storm. Another thing to think about if evacuating by car is gasoline. Once evacuation orders are given, gas and gas cans become pretty scarce pretty quick. We evacuated to Atlanta during Irma and getting gas along the way was beyond challenging, although we did make it. Keeping your car topped off while you're here is a good idea just to be on the safe side. 
What if you flew in? If you're flying, we advise signing up for your airline's text alert so you can keep a close eye on cancellations. Airlines are known to cancel flights days in advance of a hurricane, and the sooner you know, the sooner you can try to extend your stay or make other travel arrangements. Just remember that a lot of other travelers are likely in the same situation as you are, and hotels, rental cars, and flights can become tough to secure quickly. What about staying on the island even after mandatory evacuation orders are given? A lot of people do it, and while it is a criminal offense to ignore mandatory evacuation orders, we've never heard of anyone going to jail for it. For those that decide to stay on the island despite the orders, it's understood that rescue workers will not be coming to your aid and you'll be in a fend for yourself situation, at least for a little while. Also, if you drive across the bridge to the mainland, you will not be permitted back on the island without a pass issued by the sheriff's office that is only given to residents of Clearwater Beach. When a hurricane creeps up on Clearwater Beach during your vacation, staying or leaving is a personal choice that will vary based on your individual circumstances. We've linked some additional planning resources in the description box below to help you make an informed decision. And when it comes down to it, only you know what's best for you and your family. This video isn't intended to scare you. We made it to empower you so that on the very rare chance that you experience severe weather on your Clearwater Beach vacation, you'll know how to handle it. With the proper planning and the right attitude, vacationing in Florida during hurricane season can become an adventure that makes for some great stories to tell for years to come. We hope this video has made your trip planning a little bit easier. If you'd like to see more tips and tricks on how to make your Clearwater Beach vacation an unforgettable one, hit the subscribe button now and let us know in the comments if you plan on coming to Clearwater Beach during hurricane season. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.